Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. All right, we're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored. And share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at Uga Anonymous underscore. Alright, now let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, today we had to report some unfortunate news as we found out that FBG Wooski brother, Lawski, was shot and killed. Now, it's being said that he was involved in a shootout in which BCR Flame, aka T flame or JG flame, whatever you want to call him. He was also caught in it as well because he was shot, but they're saying he is in stable condition and expected to survive. No real stories have came out as to what happened. However, rumors say that they were at a party celebrating Hattie Way and then somehow a shootout ensued. You know, there's no real details, but I found the article explaining the shooting that sounds similar to what we're being told. Now, once again, I'm not sure if this is the exact article. But from what we're being told with the details, it kind of adds up with each other. Now, the article says, quote, One person is dead and three others were injured after a shooting in suburban Park Forest Friday morning. According to Park Forest Police, four people were shot during a gathering inside a residence in the 100 block of First Street around 3.30 a.m. Now, police confirmed one person was pronounced dead on the scene. Two people were taken to local hospitals with gunshot wounds and one person was treated on the scene. Now, a neighbor said, quote, it's just frightening to know that no matter where you are, you are not safe anymore. She says she's lived in the area for 30 years and she's never seen any kind of incident like this. So it seems to be similar to what we're being told happened because the video of the news stating that there was some type of function going on. Like I said, we're not too sure. But then EBT Flame took to his Facebook right after the incident happened in a since deleted post. And he said, quote, B word and ain't words just shot me. Then put a bunch of exclamation marks or whatever. Then he says, bet. On my son, bet. <laughs> Alright? Now, personally, I don't even know why he would take to social media right after such things, you know, happen. Especially something like that transpiring. I do understand that we're living in times where people would just put anything on social media. But this ain't it, man. Because even though he deleted it, at the end of the day, people caught it. You see what I'm saying? And that could be incriminating for one. And for two, it's just, you don't want to do that, man. You know, um, Flame recently did an interview with True Teller TV where he was explaining a lot of things going on in Chicago, whatever the case may be. But I wouldn't say that's part of the reason any of this happened. You know, maybe it just was the ops. They got the drop on what's going on and they decided to come through, you know, I mean, unfortunately. But honestly, like I said, we don't know how it happened. Now, as for Wooski brother, a lot of people are confused as to if this was the same brother that was shot months ago, and it isn't. Don't forget that Wooski got about three brothers. Yeah, three, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but aside from that, man, Wooski must be going through it. So I hope he good. And as for him, period, I hope we don't start, we you know, try and get any get back. We know his condition and everything he got going on. I just, you know, hope he stay away from the bull crap and get to a bat, man. Um, I know it's hard to say. It's easier said than done because, you know, he just lost his brother. But like I said, Wooski really isn't in no condition to be, you know, out there still doing what dudes was doing back in 2012 and 2011 and all that. You know, um, at the end of the day, it's dangerous out there right now. And it's not even summertime. That's the crazy part. And with everybody beefing with everybody, including guys beefing with their own sets, <laughs> it's no telling what may happen, man. But, um... At the end of the day, rest in peace, Lawski. You know, get well soon, Flame, and the other individual individuals that was caught in everything that happened. Um, that's pretty much it, man. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.